Hey, what are you? I'm playing Dredge on Steam Deck. Oh, I, I thought you'd be uh, hanging out with Andy. You'd been to Why? a Star Wars celebration. I was in London. They announced a bunch of stuff. That was this weekend? Yeah. Out. Andy! He's not going to be happy with me. I'll just show him Dredge on my Steam Deck. <sighs> Show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend. Now oh, Luke has been banished from the yep. couch, much yep. like Jin Jarin was banished from the ways of the Mandalore from mm. removing his helmet. Mm. <gasps> much, well, much like Bo-Katan Kreese was banished from ruling Mandalore. I have basically only watched The Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> but it's but, a good series. Yeah, yeah it's it is great. a good series. And I went down to Star Wars Celebration. Heck yeah, you around, did. What did you see? Luke. Well, I had a spare, I had a spare pass because Luke didn't turn up. So me and my new friend, um, Jeff from Starbucks, <laughs> we went around and we explored yeah. and saw all of the, all of the stuff. Nice. Um, yeah, we were in the... I say we, Jeff from Starbucks isn't real. <laughs> I was in the uh, the Lucas Lucasfilm Star Wars um, showcase. It was like the most sort of star-studded all hands AGM for a sort of business <laughs> that I've ever been to. Because Kathleen Kennedy, who is the sort of head of Lucasfilm stuff, she came out and she was like, "Hello, welcome to the presentation. Uh, I can I see Jeff from finances is over there. Hey, Steve from HR." <laughs> and they were like, Ooh. "And I was like, this is this does feel a bit like an all hands meeting." Yeah. But then you know, out comes Mads Mikkelsen. And um, Rosario Dawson and a bunch of famous people, famos. Yeah. Just sort of being paraded around. And like, here are some new famos mm -hmm. to look at. What do you yeah. think of these ones? Yeah. Here's Manny Jacinto from The Good Place. Look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Lee Jung Jae from Squid Game. <gasps> Squid Game. Look at him, everyone. Here's, so excited. Here's Carl Weathers. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to see me direct more? Yeah. Do I know how to milk it or what? I don't. I don't know when the last Star Wars film came out, but it was a while, right? 2019, I do believe. Was yes. And it's like it's Marvel. Rise of Skywalker. That's it. It's been like Marvel, 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 yeah, Marvel. Yeah. There's and not like, been any space adventures to break up. Well, it's been mostly TV theory. stuff. Yeah. So it's interesting to see what they're doing. They're trying to build a bit of a Star Wars cinematic universe mm -hmm. going on. So they announced three new movies. Which is, which is cool. Mm -hmm. They've got the Star Wars timeline. They showed up on the screen. They're like, here's Star Wars timeline. And I was like, good, because I'm having a real hard time with all of this. <laughs> and there's so many. Where everything. does everything go? Yeah. I'm like, man, imagine if the Mandalorian could meet Andor. And they're like, well, no, there's like... They're like that far apart yeah. in the timeline. Or whatever. Like, yeah. I knew that. Mm -hmm. So the first one that they announced is from the director of Indiana Jones 5, this guy James Mangold. And it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a prequel um, to the original prequels. Mm -hmm. And it sets a mere 25,000 years before the events of the prequels. So he was describing it as like a biblical epic. It's the, the, where the, the, the start of the Jedi, the beginning of the Jedi, and yeah, the sacred like texts. The discovery and... of the Force. Yeah. They, they'll be like digging in the desert and they'll find a bit of Force in the sand. And they'll be like, like what's, ooh, what's this? What is this Force? And then it'll jump in them. Ah. <laughs> that's not how the, the force works. But um, yeah, no, that's gonna, that's a kind of an interesting concept. There's going to be no lightsabers, I don't think. It's, it's going to be like cave, be... cave people. Yeah, no, no, it's just going to be like regular folk who don't have powers, and then it's just like slowly the the, the beginning of the force. Like maybe something like it's like if they did uh, the Lord of the Rings and like the beginning of magic. What would be really interesting is if it was just like. It just looked like modern day New York. Everyone mm. had cars and computers and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then they're Whoa, like, Whoa, we've discovered the force. Let's all become weird space wizards. Yeah. And then they're doing a one in the middle, which they've given um, Dave Filoni, who is that uh, incredible Star Wars nerd who somehow managed to get into Star Wars. Yeah. And wears a cowboy hat all the time. <laughs> He's the one who's like, it's him and John Favreau who done The Mandalorian and, he, yes. and they're doing Ahsoka and he was like big on the animated shows, um, Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels. 
and they're giving him a movie to like tie together all of the TV series that are set in the sort of Mandalorian. Yeah, timeline. it's gonna like kind of like be a culmination of all the shows. So make sure you've caught up on all the series yeah. before that one comes out. It was quite sweet though because he was out there talking about the Mandalorian, and then he walked off, and then they're like, "Now let's bring on our directors for our movies." And he walked back on, mm. and he was like, "They're letting me make a movie." <laughs> yeah, I'm just excited I can get to make a movie. He gets to make a movie. Kathleen Kennedy um, did a sort of unsolicited five minute kind of praise session of Dave Filoni who just looked wildly uncomfortable. Aww. She was like, now Dave here is a genius. And he was like, oh, no, I can't take compliments. Oh, geez, no. No, yeah. <laughs> so that was, that was a bit odd. Um, but yeah, he's doing this movie that's gonna tie together all the, uh, the Mandalorian and Ahsoka and the, the stuff that's all said in that sort of timeline, mm -hmm. which would be cool. And then they're doing one, which is set 15 years after the end of um, the rise of Skywalker, mm -hmm. whatever it's called. Yep, yep, um, no, that was it. Yep, and that's going to be about Rey, uh, Daisy Ridley, um, re-establishing the Jedi Order. Yeah. So first off, she was uh, she was no one. Then she was Palpatine's uh, granddaughter, and now she's re-establishing the Jedi's. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on with her, and she seems happy to be back out there, which is a su surprise. I, I imagine she got like the world's worst amount of abuse. Oh, 100%. And she's like, hooray, Star Wars again. <laughs> hey, if you Daisy, say so. good luck yes. to you. Have all our support. <laughs> well, that'll be interesting. It'll be, um, it'll be her. It'll be yeah. that um, little kid who levitated a broom. Yeah. Um, in the second sequel. Yeah. Um, who else have they got? Just those two. Well, um, isn't Finn, he's like force sensitive. Yeah. That's, and that's what he's trying to tell her the whole time, apparently, I, I, in that final movie, when he keeps shouting Ray and okay. doesn't have any other lines. I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if John Boyega's going to come back. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, yeah, he seems a bit done with this He seems game. done, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Understand why. And understandably so. <laughs> yeah. So they had a big paddle about um, Ahsoka, which looks cool. I love um, her so much. So. Yeah. Oh, Rosario Dawson is just like the perfect casting as well. Yeah, right. She, I mean, she's already in um, The Mandalorian. Mandalorian, which was cool. But I think this probably hit better if you had watched Star Wars Rebels. Yes. Which is the animated series that Very Ahsoka is, series, is in yeah. from Dave Filoni. Because I was in a, the crowd of Star Wars Celebration fans mm -hmm. who are obviously huge fans. And they showed, they kept showing like glimpses of characters and that I had no idea who they were and everyone was just losing their minds. So they showed Mary Elizabeth Winstead as a sort of green Twi'lek. Mm -hmm. And everyone just went, oh! <laughs> they, showed, they showed the back of Admiral Thrawn's head and everyone went, yeah, yeah. there's a guy behind me who was like helicoptering his t-shirt. Yeah. But yeah, they showed, they showed the trailer for it and it actually looks, it looks pretty good. Um, Ahsoka's obviously badass. Mm -hmm. and, um, I like the bit where she gets the lightsabers and just goes, yeah. she just cuts a hole in the floor. Just like, this is, how I get <laughs> this is how I get around places. Yeah. She's got a white lightsaber, which is dope. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I thought Ahsoka looked really good. And that's soon as well. That's coming in like August. Yeah, that's August yeah. 2023. Yeah. So Don't exciting. go outside this summer. Stay mm. in and watch Stay Star Wars. In and watch Star Wars. <laughs> We've got a teaser of Andor season two, which mm -hmm. is further off, annoyingly. It's coming like early next year. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was cool. Um, Diego Luna was there, very excited. He's very handsome, very nice. Very excited. Yeah, there was, they showed us a teaser of season two, and there's a bit where he's doing some spying and he's trying to be like a, a posh guy and he's got his hair all done nicely mm. and he's sitting in a fancy bar going, mm, I'm, I'm Andor. <laughs> so that was, that was cool. And it's like Andy Serkis was there and I was like, what's up with Andy Serkis? Because his character didn't jump off the prison with everyone else. So what's he doing? Mm. What's Andy Serkis up to? Mm. Yeah, I think, uh, and obviously they've only got two seasons of Andor because of Rogue One. So like, yeah, uh, the director was out and he was like, it's brilliant only having two seasons because I don't have to like try and think of more things that are going to happen. <laughs> I can just do the things that are going to happen and then stop and it's great. I love it. Yep. And all the other directors were like looking and going, oh, you lucky, you, you jammy guy. Finish your story. Must be sweet. They announced Skeleton Crew, which looks interesting. Yeah. That's the one that's like the Goonies in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, the kids were so cute. They they were adorable. They had the it's, so it's a series about these um, kids who get like lost in the galaxy and they have to make their way home. Very kind of Spielberg kids on bikes kind of adventure. But um, they had the cast there, these kids, and they hadn't seen the trailer before. And they were like, "Kids, do you want to see the first trailer for your show?" And they're like, Ooh. And then they all just sat cross legged on the stage, like yeah, looking up at the. Yeah, that's my favorite thing. It was like all the people, half half of them haven't seen. The, the, the trailers before. Yeah, right. So they kind of just get up from their panel seats and they just go and like, and, and they're looking up like, like at this huge screen and it's yeah. so sweet. There's so many good like shots that they've got of like, hey, this mm. is Star Wars Celebration and half of it is the cast just being like, ah, uh, 
about to us. <laughs> but I really so liked how non-media trained these kids were. So the, the host was like, hey, uh, s small child who's in Star Wars, do you, have you liked Star Wars for a while? And they were like, my dad gave me a Star Wars onesie. And then he tried to buy a Star Wars rug, but my mum wouldn't let him. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a cool anecdote. I love it. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Uh, Jude Law is in that as well as a Jedi. Yes. And he sort of turned out and he had such great dad energy for these kids. Oh my God, yeah. The host was like, hey kids, have you learned anything from Jude Law? And he was like, you shut your mouth. They, I'm learning from these kids every day. <laughs> He's sweet, my sweet children. <laughs> so kissed them all on the forehead and held them. But yeah, that was really nice. Um, so I'm actually, I think that's going to be, if it's got the, that sort of uh, Goonies or, you know, the first It movie where they're cycling around, yeah, like yeah. fighting the devil clown. Yeah. I love that kind of stuff. And then I think this is the most exciting series was The Acolyte. Mm -hmm. um, it was from Russian Doll creator Leslie Headland. Oh, I love Russian Doll. Yeah. So she's making this series and it's set during like the High Republic era. So before, like, I guess... 50, 100 years before the prequels. Yeah. So when like the Jedi are at the height of their powers and mm. it's about the sort of like the emergence of the dark side Sith Lords during that period and when the, the bad guys are outnumbered and it's sort of trying mm. to tell this this story. But it's, um, the cast was amazing. That's the one with Lee Jun Jae in it and Manny Jacinto and Carrie Ann Moss is in it as a Jedi. Mm, wow. Which looks amazing. Um, so there's going to be a lot of that kind of prequel Jedi school, everyone with uh, like their multicolored lightsabers yeah. running around doing stuff. Um, but they said it was like heavily influenced by wuxia films, like um, old kung fu stuff as well. Yeah. And is more a sort of I... like mental, mental journey and the, that kind of like uh, spiritual combat and stuff, which I yeah. think sounds really interesting. I heard someone in the thing, they said it was a cross between Frozen and Kill Bill. That's what she described it <laughs> I was as, just yeah. Like, okay. And I'm like, huh. <laughs> How? How? Okay, intrigued to see. Okay. But that's, you know, that's in, that is intriguing. And they've got a wiki Jedi Master. It's mm -hmm. like Juna Suatomo, I think, is the guy who was he played Chewbacca in the in the recent films, and now he's playing this new wiki Jedi. Which is, yeah, which is cool. But do you think they're lightsaber makes? Yeah. yeah. If you're <laughs> a wiki, it makes goes, wiki sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then <laughs> right at the end, they were like, "Okay, thanks for all this Star Wars stuff. Um, now." Before you go, the doors are now locked, <laughs> and we're going to show you some Indiana Jones. Yay! And everyone was like, Din -din 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 -din. "No, no!" <laughs> like, I think you'll find escape is quite impossible. Roll six in uninterrupted minutes <laughs> of Indiana Jones. Ah, sorry. And I've been looking for this all my life. So we had to watch that as well. No. But then Mads Mikkelsen came out and talked about being in it. So oh, good. That's, that was fun. We like Mads yeah. Mikkelsen. And for the attendees there, they had some other little previews and stuff. And they had a message from um, Pedro Pascal, who couldn't be there. But he'd made a video and he was wearing the most enormous cardigan oh. I've ever seen. And it was like calculated. Yeah. It was like laser <laughs> calculated to, so he looked cozy, cozy and non-threatening. Yeah. And, and like a cinnamon roll. It's Love like, you, hey, I can't be here, but everyone check out this dope cardigan I'm wearing. We were like, that's fine. That's fine, thanks. Thanks. I think you definitely, I mean, it sounds obvious, but you get a lot more out of it if you're like a really big Star Wars fan. Big hardcore stuff. Yeah, um, there's stuff. there's quite a lot of stuff for the casual fan as well. They had like big um, replicas of like ships and things from the Star Wars films. There was a like a big at, -at and um, a full scale TIE fighter. Um, they had a Tauntaun and uh, I got to take a, a picture of Baby Yoda. Um, it is quite fun if you like sort of annoying Star Wars fans as well. Yeah. Um, like I was in the queue for something and I kept referring to Yoda as old Grogu. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like clearly really winding this guy up. I'm like, oh look, they've, look, they've done a, like an old version of Grogu. <laughs> it was like knuckles whitening in front of me in the queue. Why like, does old Grogu speak so weird? <laughs> <laughs> old baby Yoda, that's a weird. What a fun concept that this concept artist has come up with. <laughs> the other thing that I was really excited about was um, the Star Wars Visions, the animated uh, series of like animated adventures set in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. And by like 
nine different uh, animation studios from around the world. Mm, kind of like the Animatrix. Yes, uh, and we this all remember is that, don't we? the uh, yeah, and this is the second season. So like, I missed, I missed it. So I, I need to go and watch the first season because I, I saw the trailer and I was like, wait, there was a, there was a previous season of this. I mm. must go. But what's exciting about this one is that one of the studios is Ardman. Oh um, yes. So I saw that and like, because basically there was a joke in it where one of them nearly said a, a swear word, and I was like, that's got to be a Brit. That's got to be Ardman. <laughs> is got to be is it claymation or not? It is claymation. Okay, like nice. So I I am very excited uh, see to Wallace see those. Is a dark Jedi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gromit trying to bring him back to the light side of the force. The wrong trousers, but yeah. it's just it's R two D two on top. Oh my God. <laughs> Darth Maul's new legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Darth, yeah. <laughs> Darth Maul puts on the wrong trousers yeah. and has, <laughs> starts running around. What's your most anticipated out of like the films, the TV shows that they announced? What's the one you're like? That's the one I'm looking forward to. Um, Ahsoka and The Acolyte. I'm really intrigued by for next mm -hmm. year. So I've got a couple of good seasons to be like mm, num 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 num. Yeah, I think The Acolyte is probably the one I'm most looking forward to. And then Skeleton Crew looks really interesting. That looks really cute. Um, so yeah, I'm keeping an eye on that one as well. Yeah, yeah. But what are you excited for at home? Did you watch uh, any of the coverage? Were you at Star Wars Celebration? Were you mm. the person? who was uh, annoyed by the <laughs> old baby Yoda. <laughs> old Grogu remark. If you are, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sorry. No. <laughs> He's clearly joking. Uh, let down. us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Andy, thank you so much for joining. No worries. Uh, go over to Outside Xbox for more Andy. Um, and uh, if you want to support us even further, we have the OX Supporters Club, and there will be a link of that on screen, as well as some other lovely videos that we have worked very hard on, and uh, hopefully you will enjoy. Mm. Maybe I'll shove some Star Wars themed ones on there, like we did one on cancelled Star Wars games. There you go. We want some more of those. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Mm. Thanks for joining us. Show the weekend. Bye. May the, may the force be with you. Yeah. <laughs>